All right, y'all. Welcome back. It's Big Al, and it's another episode of Stock Lock Sunday. Uh, I'm pretty excited. I got something uh, recently off of uh, eBay. I really, really just, it just really caught my attention, as you can see in the background here. It's a big 3D printed YouTube play button. Is that just cool or what? I just, I just fell in love with it right away. I said, I got to have it. Uh, and he did have a couple more. These are, these are thick. I'm guessing it was honeycombs because I don't think that's, there's no way that's solid. But, uh, I just thought it was really cool. So, had to have it. Had to have it. All right. So, for this episode of Stock Lock Sunday, um, I was doing some last minute Christmas, Christmas shopping as usual, uh, at my local Walmart to get some wrapping paper. I seen this dude that caught my eye. Now, the reason this one caught my eye, not only because I like the badges on these Brinks locks, this one has a five pin core in it. Now, these other Brinks, you can probably see right here, this big boy right here, four pinner. And this other Brinks right here that I got because I like the badge on that one, also a four pinner. So, I really. This one really caught my attention again because it had that longer key. I was like, well, that doesn't look like a, their usual four pin lock. So had to have it. I had to have it. All right. So let's see what's going to take to pick into this thing. Cause I know they usually have uh, spool pins in these. So I'm guessing that's probably going to be the case. So let's tear into this. Shouldn't be as bad as that last one I had to get into. There we go. All right. Oh, by the way, this is a 50 millimeter, I believe it says. Uh, yeah, two inch, 50 millimeter, solid brass uh, body. Yep. And like I said, it does say five pins, pick resistance. So we'll see about that. Let's uh, get one of these keys off of here. Ooh, it's backwards. Okay. Strange. All right. Uh, let's see something real quick too. It doesn't look like well. Yeah, maybe. If it locks on both sides. No, it's not going to let me try it. It might. It does have the cutouts on both sides. Yeah, I think it does because it's letting loose on that side when I turn the key. So I don't know. I don't know if a shim will fit in there. I may not have some, some that small because that's a pretty narrow uh, diameter shackle there. All right. So let's see. Uh, there's the key on it, by the way. Let's see if we can't pick into this thing. I'm going to try with one of my thinner because the keyway is really small on this. I'm not going to eat up the bottom of the keyway with the tensioner at the bottom on this because there's really not a whole lot of room, as you can see. So I'm going to have to go from the top. And since it is a small keyway, I'm going to try, let's try one of these Sparrow's uh, uh, sliver picks. That might work. It may be a little too weak for this, but let's try it. Springy in the back. We've got a binder. Okay. I don't know what that was. I felt good. I think that was pin four. All the way in the back. I might have just overset pin four. That was pin one. Two. Three. Yeah, it might have overset pin four by accident. There's a good chance I did. Whoop. Can't get behind that tension wrench. There we go. One. Yeah, I think I overset something, and I think it was pin four. It let some of that drop. One, 
two, three, five, I mean four, now five. Okay. So good. Try to get behind that tension wrench. One, two, there we go. Trying to get behind that tension wrench was a treat. All right, so we got her open. Uh, let's see, just for the heck of it, um, I'm gonna see if there's enough room Yeah, I don't think there's going to be enough room on both sides. Plus, that's very narrow. But what we might be able to do, I don't know. That's not that flat. But I'm going to try just for fun. Let's just see if I can zip it once. Let me grab my, uh, grab one of these from the uh, Dangerfield Praxis set. One of these city rakes, just, just for the heck of it. No, I think, uh, like I said, these brinks, they've got uh, spools in them, usually, so it's really hard to rake uh, spools, because you got to give it that, you got to come back with it, but, you know, probably not going to be working too good. So anyways, there it is, there's the, uh, from my local Walmart, the Brinks, what is it, Brinks 50 millimeter uh, brass padlock, so... Really neat. I like the badges on these. They always catch my attention when I'm at the store, especially when I seen this one. I really liked it a lot. All right, so that'll wrap up this episode of Stock Lock Sunday. And uh, I did get a message from someone. I just want to say this is going to be a real treat. I don't want to give too much away, but uh, somebody contacted me about the uh, Locks Without Borders padlocks. And I believe we're going to get one that's traveled the farthest yet. Uh... When this lock gets here, it's going to have traveled quite some way. So like I said, I don't want to ruin it. Uh, when it gets here, we'll deal with that. But uh, it's coming a very long way. So uh, I just want to thank the uh, sender. Uh, we'll, we'll thank them publicly when the lock gets here. But uh, thank you very much for sending that lock in because, it, like I said, it's come a very, very long way. So thank you very much. All right, so uh, stick around. Uh, if you'd like to win one of these pack locks featuring my logo, stick around for that. All right. Thank you very much. Big Al, signing off.